<clears throat> Happy New Year! I don't have special effects for fireworks stuff. Camera angles. Uh, yes, Happy New Year. It's the end of 2022 and what a year it's been. Um, there's been that war on uh, between Amber and Mr. Snowflake. Uh, what else has happened? I can't really remember. I lost weight. I got a haircut. Made videos. Uh, that's about it. Sorry if this sounds terrible, but I'm very unprofessional. Um, so on New Year, I like to reflect back at the year that's been and go through everyone that's died this year. I normally like to just sit on the couch and watch. Uh, normally Sky News has a program. Well, to show everybody that's died. <clears throat> All the famous people that's died that year. And you go, I'll drink me coffee. And go, oh yeah, forgot they died. Oh, I didn't know they died. And it just sets me up for the rest of the year. But I thought... This time around, we can all do it together. So, let's give it a go. So I'm starting with January. The first celeb to die in January, Sidney Potier. The first black man to win an Oscar for best actor. And he won that in 1964 for Lilies of the Field. I'll be honest, I haven't seen it. I know Sidney Potty is, though. And again, I didn't know he died. 94, though. He had a good, good long stretch. And then in January, we got uh, Meatloaf. I actually had forgot about Meatloaf dying. That's a shame. I like me love. Bow to hell. It was the bus driver in the Spice Girls movie. And he said, I would do anything for those girls, but I won't clean a toilet. Or something like that. Five Club. Did I say Five Club? It was Bob Bitch Tits at Fight Club, remember? And Big Boobs. 74. Health struggles and uh, problems with his asthma, sadly. Um, Barry Cryer. Doubt a lot of. Doubt all my American fans will know who Barry Cryer is, but he's a comedy writer. Uh, for the two Ronnies. Tommy Cooper, Bob Hope, you've heard of him, haven't you? Richard Pryor, which I always just assume Richard Pryor wrote his own jokes, but maybe none of them do. I was born in Leeds in 1935. I lived in Leeds for a bit. Uh, he was 96. A uh, brief, there's a few little ones. Fossil Hunter, Richard Leakey. Bob Saget, obviously. Dr. Leg from EastEnders has died. Neighbours child actor Miranda Fryer. The guy from the Vicar Dibley. Catherine Cates. Hmm. 
some sign help. I'll edit this bit out. Because there's just little ones that I think Sky deems not famous enough to have a big article about them. But I mean, Bob Saget's massive. He should have his own bit. He's just a little, he's just a one line. Disgraceful. Gary Brooker was the front man of Procol Horum. I probably said that wrong. Oh, I'm going to look like such an idiot. But the, from the, the song The White A Shade Of Pale, that's a famous 60s song. Who's he's dead. 76. Cancer. Awful. Mash actress Sally Kellerman. Why is she just one line? Hot lips from Mash. Eighty four. This is a very attractive lady. Oh my. Uh, <clears throat> we're in, are we in the march already? Oh no. Well, the white shade of pale, that was February. Oh, this is going well. March, Shane Warne. Shane Warne, from Cricketer. I forgot he died. He's only 52. He's only nine years older than me. Oh, oh, oh. It's not morbid. Makes you think about life. None of them got long. Taylor Hawkins from Foo Fires, obviously. Such a shame. Joined the Foo Fighters in 1987 after previously touring with singer Alanis Morissette. I knew about that, yeah. Oh, he was only 50. His sudden death at the age of 50 as the band were touring South America shocked the world. In September 2022, the Foo Fighters put on a two-star studded gig in London. In LA, gigs in London and LA to raise money for the charity. In the memory of their badass bandmate and beloved brother, I, I saw that one of them because I, I think his son played drums. Horrible. Um, it doesn't say how he died. I don't want to speculate, but I think I remember that it was. He, he had a relapse and got back on the drugs. <clears throat> Awful. Oh, William Hurt. I forgot William Hurt died. Very good actor. Quite an intimidating presence on the screen. Very good. You did. He nominated for an Oscar for History of Violence. That's a movie I have to watch again. I think I only watched it once. 71, Cancer. Ah. Tom Parker from British Irish boy band The Wanted. I mean, I, I don't really know much about The Wanted. I was far too old for them. Ah. Thirty-three. Ah, oh, no. This is this is just depressing. Why have I picked to do this? 
my yearly review. 33 brain tumour. 33. Oh my god. Scott Hall from WWE. Scott Hall. Oh my god, Reza Ramon's dead! Ah, Reza. I didn't even know he's called Scott Hall. What a dick. Ah. I think he had lots of struggles, Reza Ramon. Him and. Ah. Jake the Snake. A lot of troubles with drinking drugs. I think I've cooked. I've cooked these crumpets too much. Oh man, where's the Ramon's dead? So always have a toothpick. Hey, I'm, a, I'm the bad guy. It's all greasy. Nah. I didn't see how he died. Oh, I'll look it up later. April. Woohoo! Uh, June Brown from EastEnders. Again, I don't think people who aren't from Britain will know who June Brown is. I'm not sure. I've, I, is EastEnders an international hit? Is EastEnders still on? Uh, she played Doc Cotton. She played the same character for 35 years. <clears throat> That's insane. Wouldn't you just... Ugh. Be weird? Or it'll just be you? Yeah, so look at EastEnders if you don't know. It's a miserable British show that British people watch. I guess they make themselves feel better about life. Jordan Mooney. She was the queen of punk. Modelled for Vivian Westwood. Looks pretty cool. Big beehive. I should probably know who she is because <clears throat> I'm old enough, but only 66. Ugh, cancer again. Art Rube, music executive. Like, I'm not speaking ill of the dead, but isn't Reza Ramon more famous than Art Rube? And Reza Ramon had a little line like that. May, woohoo, May. <clears throat> Can't even remember what happened in the news in May. It was summer. Was it summer? Was it, was it summer? Cut that bit out. Anything happened in May? This I forgot about. I'm sad. I'm picking the crumbs off my lap. Really are. Good fellas. Field of Dreams. Glow, Narp, the Rat Pack. 67. No mention of uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, <clears throat> which is his best performance. Yeah, I just kind of forgot really I was dead. Let's go ahead. I just watched him in that rubbish Sopranos movie, pretty cool as well. Don't come at me, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't see the point in it. He was shooting a film called Dangerous Waters in the Dominican Republic when he passed away at 67. Rubbish. Dennis Waterman. Man, didn't know he was dead. 
He was in Minder. Don't think that's a big thing outside the UK, Australia. Oh! My brain's gone blank for a comedian. I think it was on Little Britain. He used to do, I get to sing the theme tune and sing the theme tune. Because he used to always like sing the theme songs to his shows. I can't remember the earth top of my head. Oh, there. It says there. The actor was also a target of a character show on the TV comedy Little Britain in which David Wal Walliams impersonated him in a comically small man who would say, Write the theme tune and sing the theme tune to new job offers. Died at this home in Spain, age 74. Uh, the founding member of Depeche Mode, keyboardist Andy Fletcher. I like Depeche Mode, I don't really know any of the, any, much of them. Lester Piggott, oh, he's a famous jockey. 50 years being a jockey, Jesus. 50 years being a jockey, he died at 59, bloody hell. Oh no, 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 no. No, he retired at 59. He was 86, sorry. <clears throat> he died in Switzerland. Tremors and the Right Stuff star. <gasps> no! Fred Ward's dead? I didn't know that. Oh man, I love Tremors. Aww. Him and Kevin Bacon and Tremor is such a good... I wish they'd done more movies with both of them. So good. Such a good movie, Tremors. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Very good film. Yeah, I didn't know he was dead. Fred Ward. I don't know how old he was. He's one of those actors, Fred Ward, character actor, in everything, but that guy is one of those actors where you go, you know that guy? He's in that film. ER and X Files star. Oh no, it's another one. John Aylward is another actor where you're like, yeah, that guy from that show. Yeah. Is he in Total Recall? You know, I'm not going to edit any of this. So I'll have to just move on. Oh, Gunther, 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 died from friends, that's a shame, bless him. He kept, he kept, he kept it going though, didn't he? he used to do chats about friends, wear his tie and his big shirts and stuff. <clears throat> it's terrible, doesn't even have a link on, yeah, it just has his name, that he died, no link. I don't know what happened to him. Philip Barker Hall. Oh, he was the library detective on Seinfeld. But he, he's another one of those actors that's in everything. Age 90. US rapper Trouble. I don't know, the US rapper trouble? Is that me being a boomer? Ah, uh, he's shot. Ugh. 34. So young, what a waste. Oh, 
Bon, bon Jovi founding member? What? I like John Such. Alec John Such. I don't know, I don't know him. Hell's Angel founding member, Sonny, Sonny Barger. Oh yeah, he set up this Hell's Angels. Scary guys, the Hell's Angels. There's loads of good stuff with Hunter S. Thompson and uh, all the stuff where the, the, where the security for the Rolling Stones and then just started killing and beating the crap out of loads of hippies. I would not mess with the Hells Angels. July! Woo! Did I miss out June? Oh my god. It's no wonder I do Mr. Snowflake's headed. July! Ah, uh, James Conn? Forgot James Conn was dead from The Godfather. He was sunny at the Godfather, wasn't he? He's in misery. Ah, he's really good at misery. She smashes his feet in. <clears throat> Mickey Blue Eyes. Elf. He was an elf, wasn't he? Oh man. Honeymoon in Vegas, bulletproof. God, it's done everything. Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Oh god, yeah, he was shot, wasn't he? Ugh. I think it was, wasn't it like a homemade gun or something? Poro. Ivana Trump, Trump's ex. <clears throat> the Donald. Yeah, cause she, I think she called him the Donald, did you? Was that his other wife? I think that was his other wife. Get mixed up. Oh, I bet when they divorced, she was like, he was like, sign this, do not mention anything. She, was, she did a cameo on the first wives club. It's like Donald Trump was in Home Alone 2. She delivered the famous line, don't get mad, get everything. 73, after falling down a flight of stairs. She fell down a flight of stairs. Okay. Let's move on. Bernard Cribbings. Oh. Wow. Remember I played uh, Catherine Tate's granddad in Doctor Who? He's lovely. Carry On Movies, Coronation Street, Boys of the Damned. He's 93. Didn't see how he died. I hate when they just, they just get to a point where they just don't even say how they died, they just go, he was 93. That's how he died. He was 93. Oh, Michelle Nichols, Uhuru, Uhura. Hello. Um, <clears throat> of course, Uhura. The famous interracial kiss with Captain Kirk. 
and a brother was uh, in Heaven's Gate cult. Chopped his, uh, chopped his bits off and uh, wore tracksuit. Heaven's Gate, yeah, I'll have to do a bit on them one day. Marshall Applewhite, wasn't he called that? Anyway, when she was 89, she's a very glamorous lady. I think, I'm sure she was really angry because in the series, or one of the movies, I think it was one of the movies, she did a, oh yes, so Star Trek 6. As a five, maybe Star Trek five. There's a bit where she seduces people and she's singing, ah, and they dubbed her over, <clears throat> even though she's a professional singer. They dubbed her over, bastards. She's pissed off about that. August, woo! <clears throat> Whoa, I forgot about this one as well. Olivia Newton John. Tell me about it, stud. Olivia Newton-John from, of course, Greece. <clears throat> and uh, singing stuff. She, she represented UK in the Eurovision Song Contest. I didn't know that. She finished fourth. ABBA won with Waterloo. See, that's when the Eurovision was good. When you had bands like ABBA. Seventy-three. Ah, yeah. Well, she was diagnosed with cancer in nineteen ninety-two. But she fought a long, hard battle. Mikhail Gorbachev. Soviet Union leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, pulled down that wall. I remember when I was a kid, because there was a puppet with him on Spitting Image, and he had a, because he had a birthmark on his head. And the birthmark would turn into funny things. Like a hammer and sickle and stuff. And that's all I really remembered him when I was young. Ninety-one. He helped stop nuclear war. Thanks. Oh, Darius, yeah. Darius Dinesh. Famous in England for being on pop stars. I'm sure he's younger than me. Because he, he did uh, Britney Spears' Baby One More Time, weirdly. Colour 41, yeah. I'm older than him. Inhalation of colorethene. Oh no. I think that's like an accidental overdose or something. Horrible. Uh, I was in Chicago, yeah. In the on the theatre. Forty one. Ah oh, man. Horrible. <clears throat> Anne Hesch. Ah, I forgot about Anne Hesch as well. Ugh. Smashed a car into a house, didn't she? Ugh, man. Awful. <clears throat> oh, no, Raymond Briggs is dead. He wrote The Snowman. And, um... What's that Santa one called? Yeah, you remember the snowman? We're walking in the air. And then he did that really sad one, didn't he? Where it was uh, these this two old couple. There's been a nuclear bomb, and this old couple live in sacks and hug each other. It's horrible. Oh, fungus the bogeyman, he did as well. Oh man. <clears throat> 
I'd send that one's Father Christmas, it was called. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't know Raymond Briggs was dead. That's sad. I mean, it's all sad. But see, this is the thing. You, you miss people. September. The Queen, obviously. The longest reigning monarch in British history and the world's oldest head of state. She was born in 1926. God, she became Queen at 25. Bloody hell. Ninety-six or so. uh, uh, you know it's, it's horrible people die. I'm not a royalist in any way, but, you know, she was the queen and that was her job. She did her job for a long time, so. Hilary Mantel. Ah, who wrote Wolf Hall. Ah, nah. She finished a trilogy, though. The trilogy which charts the rise and fall of Thomas Cromwell and the court of Henry VIII made her an international star. I heard Wolf Hall's really good. I haven't read it or seen the show. <clears throat> or seen the... Yeah, I haven't read it. Mm. Uh, five million copies. <whistles> I think she finished the third book just before she died. I bet I... Uh, Publishers are like, fuck me. That was close. At least she finished that masterpiece, the trilogy, you know. Well, I think I better read Wolf Hall. And the other two. Oh, God. I forgot about him as well. Coolio died. I totally forgot. Black man, 59. I remember Gangster's Paradise was such a massive song, but I've never seen it. I've never seen Gangster's Paradise. I'm guessing it's like a hot white teacher getting tough kids to do what she wants. Or like sure, like she's not she's not a weak woman. And this class is gonna do what she wants. Or something, I don't know. Or one of the kids is like, everyone thinks he's thick. But she can see that he's not thick. He's just... He needs focus. She helps him. Is that what happens? But yeah, Coolio? Oh, man. I remember I watched the thing where Coolio would, like, go to students' houses and get drunk with them and stuff. After gigs. It's like... Uh... Coolio, do you want to come back to ours? We're having a house party. You'd be like, yeah, I'd love to, yeah. So I think that's hilarious. Doesn't say how he died. But yeah, 59. It's no age, man. Ah, oh, nah. Louise Fletcher from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Nurse Ratchet, that was it. But what else was she in? She was always like a bit of a bitch in movies, wasn't she? God, she was in her early 40s then. Her first big actor break. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is a great film. They made, they made a TV show about Nerd Chats, you have shit. Is it good? It looks rubbish. I hate it when they do that. They just get one character and go, we'll give them their own show. They were interested. Yeah, they were interesting because they an ensemble piece of that thing. But I suppose everybody's excited about Wednesday, aren't they? So, what do I know? October. Oh no! Angela Lansbury's dead. 
Uh, I've got to admit, I, I've always had a bit of a crush on Angela Lansbury. Like bed knobs and broomsticks. Oof, she's hot. Uh, Murder She Wrote, amazing. God, she, she must have been in like a billion movies. Murder She Wrote was so good. Died 96. Obviously, in Beauty and the Beast, I could sit here all day and name every movie she was in. Ah, oh, that's a sad one. Robbie Coltrane. Hagrid. I love Robbie Coltrane. So good. Like, I loved Nuns on the Run when I was a kid. Great film. James Bond. Obviously, Harry Potter as Hagrid. Well, I loved Cracker. If no one's seen Cracker, it's like a 90s TV crime drama. And he was like a psychologist. <clears throat> and he would crack people interrogation rooms. It's really good. There was one where it was there. Ah, oh, what do you call them? Ah. I'll edit it in. Uh, him from Transport Man. Anyway, he was like a racist murderer guy. That was a good episode. Jerry Lee Lewis, Great Balls of Fire. Sure, he married his uh, cousin when she was like 13 or something, didn't he? he? Seemed to have missed it out, yeah. But I remember uh, they made a movie of Great Balls of Fire. I'm sure, we're not a writer, isn't it? Great Balls of Fire! Loretta Lynn's dead, country music star. Leslie Jordan, of course, from Will and Grace. Shits Creek producer, K pop star. Oh no. Oh no. 24. Lee. Schwan. Sorry, I've said that wrong. Died in a Halloween crowd crush. God, I, I, I definitely don't watch the news anymore. Bloody hell, I didn't even know about this. Horrendous. That's, uh, that's horrible. November. Woo! Isn't this really good fun? I ran out of coffee and ate me crumpets. Isn't this loads of fun? Just letting you in on what I do on New Year's. Oh yes. Christine McVeigh <clears throat> from Fleetwood Mac. Uh, when I heard she died, I said to the missus, because she's a big Fleetwood Mac fan, I said, Christine McVeigh's died. And she said, oh no, that's horrible. And I said, could be just rumours. She was not my biggest fan after that. Uh, 79. What a shame. Oh, Leslie Phillips. Well, hello. I say. Ding dong. Leslie Phillips, yeah, all the Carry On movies. It's just another one of those actors that's in everything. I think he lost loads of weight, didn't he, for um, Empire of the Sun? With, uh, with uh, Patrick Bateman, man. Help me out. Anyway, yeah. I remember he lost loads of weight for that, and he said it probably messed him up. 98 he was. Ding dong. Well, hello. Bill Tretcher. From EastEnders. I used to watch EastEnders a million years ago. I used to have my Sunday dinner and sit and watch EastEnders. Omnibus. But if people 
if you're not seeing Stella, you, you won't know who he is. But he played the husband of Dot from East Enders, who was, if you remember, near the beginning of the death list. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't. He wasn't married to her. Fuck, I'll have to definitely call that bit all the way right, moron. Ignore me. He wasn't married to her at all. <laughs> oh yeah, he played Arthur. He played Arthur. Aaron Carter. And Carter was a child star and younger brother, Backstreet Boys, Nick Carter, who began performing when he was seven and released his self titled debut album in 1987 when he was nine. So he was nine, I was 17 then, so obviously I wasn't as demographic. But yeah, he's massive. 34. Oh my god. Mate. No, it doesn't say how he died. I'm guessing it's drug related. But I'm, I remember he, he was doing rounds of podcasts and stuff. He seemed quite not a well guy. But I'm sure like his, his, his brother Nick Card had like restraining orders and stuff against him. Oh, they used to fight on the house of the Carters, didn't they? Take off. Rapper take off. I've never heard of him, but again, I am old. And stupid. Killed by a stray bullet. 28. Oh my god, man. Irene Cora, singer of flash dance and fame, is dead. Sue Barker. From Top Gear. 67. Oh, God. Oh, Kevin Conroy. The voice of Batman. You know, obviously all the, the cartoons. Uh, the Arkham games. He is... Batman, isn't he? Ah. 66. Fifteen films. No. Mark Hamill, who played the Joker opposite Conroy and Batman, the animated said, series, said he was one of my favourite people on the planet and I loved him like a brother. Oh, man. What a shame. God, I remember that. I remember the day that Batman cartoon premiered. I was sitting there with my brother. And them criminals are running. God, see nothing like it. It's amazing. I'm just that kind of like 1930s look to it. Oh, so good. Aye. And the, obviously the Arkham games are amazing. Big loss. Oh yeah, the Green Ranger. Oh my God, forty-nine. Jason David Frank. Yeah, I think me and Mister Snowflake were in York when the Green Ranger died. Um, I think the Yellow Rangers died as well. A few years back, I think she had a car crash or something. Yay, happy new year, yeah. I think, and I'm not sure, because it doesn't say, because <clears throat> sometimes if it, you know, they don't say what happened, but I think, uh, no, I'll not say how he died because I might be wrong and I don't want to be disrespectful. Because I'm I'm normally a dick, but I don't want to be a dick all the time, especially about people dying. Vivian West oh December! Woo! Vivian Westwood. She makes dead good clothes and stuff. I've never wore any of her things. I'm more of a George guy from Asda. Uh Mmm. 
doesn't tell us how old she is or how she died which is what I want to know as a morbid little sod Pele football legend Pele age 82 right I'm going to say something and I'm not trying to be funny but I hate football and I didn't know who Pele was at all and then years ago he did adverts for Viagra so I just thought he was a guy who sold Viagra I didn't know he was like some football legend I don't know I don't watch it it's rubbish uh, yes yeah, so I just thought he was like the, the salesman of Viagra but then when I found out he's like a big famous football I was like I've just offered him loads of money. And does he get free Viagra? Why is he doing Viagra adverts? I don't know. But yeah, I just thought he was a Viagra guy. 82. John Bird. Very funny man. Used to be on Brem Bremner Bird and Fortune comedy. Rory Bremner does like political uh, impressions. So you do like Tony Blair and other politicians. <laughs> hey, I'm a politician. Hey, I'm shit. Maxi Jazz from Faithless. Man, I forgot about that as well. 65. Great band. He was a brilliant lyricist, DJ and Buddhist. Call of our endless talk and beautiful person, moral compass and a genius. Oh, Kirsty Alley. I forgot about Kirsty Alley. Ah oh, man. Oh no, it makes me sad. Cheers, she was going cheers. Look who's talking and look who's talking too. I love look who's talking. Bruce Willis doing the voice of a baby. Oh man. I saw the pictures like three times. Ah, oh, Kirsty Alley. She did like a. Didn't she do like a show called like Fat Actress or something? Oh, yeah. She also played a fictionalised version of herself in Fat Actress, a show that played on the way she was treated by the media over her weight loss and gain. She was on Big Brother. Ali took part in Celebrity Big Brother and came second. God, I do not watch reality TV anymore. I used to, like 20 years ago, when it was... This is a social experiment. I used to say, 71, she was. Terry Hall from the specials. Uh, living in a ghost town. Supposing he had a very horrible life when he was younger. I'll not get into it now because it's very depressing. 63. Ruth Maddock from Heidi High. Heidi, 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 Ho. Again, if you're not old like me or live in Britain, you probably don't know what Heidi High was. <clears throat> that was like a sitcom at like a holiday camp in the 60s and they'd call Heidi, Heidi, High, And then everyone would go, Heidi, Heidi, Lodi, Lodi. I don't know. Heidi, Heidi, Hi. Hody, Hody, Ho. And she died 79. Oh, she had a fall. Oh, man. Orange is the new black, Brad William Hankey. What? I didn't know he was dead. Brad William Hankey from Orange. He's the big, massive guy in Orange is the New Black. I love Orange is the New Black. Yeah, he's huge. 56. It doesn't, doesn't say what happened to him. 56, oh man. Probably like a heart attack or something. Oh, I did not know he was dead.
Ah, oh, get caught on Flash Gordon director Mike Hodges. Ah, oh, now. Nah. 90. Obviously, get Carter. If anyone's seen that, not the not the Stallone remake, but uh, the Michael Caine one. That's in Newcastle. That. So if you want to see where I live, watch Get Carter. I mean, it's from the '60s, but it's not changed much. It's it's still lovely. And obviously, one of the popes has died. The one that retired, I can't remember his name. That's just happened this morning, so he, he makes it in my list. Right, well that's it. I, that wasn't as hilarious as I thought it was going to be. There was a few surprises in there. A lot of people I didn't uh, know, but I guess if the news cycle... It doesn't deem you worthy enough, they'll not report on it that much. Uh, if you're not super famous. But yeah. Uh, yeah, morbid. Morbid and boring video, so that's good. But I said I would do one every day now, so um, it's all a learning process. Thanks for joining us. I hope I haven't ruined your day. Uh, and I'm definitely going to have to edit this down because it's like a, an hour long. Well, that was morbid. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Hopefully, um, no one dies in 2023. That's my dream. No one. We just have a year off. I'll see you next year for another terrible, boring, morbid video.